Um, right. Uh, one of the student actually asked this question in my Discord. So, yeah, I decided to make a short video to answer to this student. Um, yeah, basically the student asked, like, why, like, when finding the x coordinate of the intersection point, why the x have to be zero and and then the y and then y will get got the value and the and for the second x plot y it will be four so i guess the student actually is curious about uh, this uh is curious about this table yeah the coordinates okay so this is the common question in the graph functions paper two for modern math yeah, Google function for paper two and part D, they will always ask you to actually draw a straight line. Sometimes with a curve to find out the intersection point is quite common questions. Uh, basically, it's like this. Um, you will have a curve equation. This equation, I think, is is given at the very beginning here. And then at the part D, normally the question will give you a new equation look like this. So from this new equation over here, the purpose of this new equation is you kind of need to find out your straight line equation. So by doing uh, here, they use elimination. Sometimes you can do substitution. So eventually you will find out this equation by doing elimits, uh, basically use the first equation minus the second equation, you get this one. All right, right now, in order to find the intersection point, my objective is to draw this straight line y equals to mx plus c into my into my graph here to actually find the intersection point so if i have a y equals to negative 10x plus 10 um i can form this table by insert any value i want today they use 0 and 4 i think maybe at the very beginning the question actually give you a specific range they will tell you okay x must be between 0 to 4 then i will use zero and four because i will follow the range or sometimes the range might give give you like okay if the question okay the one from i don't know from negative five to two okay normally they'll give you a range like this and then i then i'll change this value to negative five and two i i prefer to follow the range given uh, from the questions okay just in case the question doesn't give you any range then what i will suggest is um you check from your graph over here you check from your graph over here like how how big is your x domain here just in case uh today this is 10 and then let's say this is negative 10 then you can insert any value negative 10 to 10. yeah and then you insert negative 10 into the x here and then find what is the y value so if i insert negative 10 here Okay, y equals to negative 10 multiply negative 10 plus 10. And then I will get uh, 110. Then I will write, okay, my y value is 110. Yeah, I can insert the positive 10 here. Then I know my y value will be negative 90. By, by solving this equation, I will get negative 90. And then I'm going to plot these two coordinates on the graph and in order to get my straight line but you have a problem here because your y axis normally because your graph paper is not infinity one so you have a specific value a specific limit for your y value so this is the reason why we, we will not try the big value like 10 here so yeah so normally here you can insert any value uh in your, from your x exit okay i say from your x exit what uh is because you see how big in your is your skill here but from your x exit here let's say you have negative 10 to 10 trying trying to use smaller value uh okay why would you need to try to use the smallest value one reason is like what i show you just now if you 10 you might get 100 but then you make maybe your maximum skill here is 25 there's no way for you to plot the 100s so yeah so if you use the smaller value here yeah it will actually give you i believe most of the time in sbm your straight line must be in the uh 
I mean, it must be in your graph paper here. So yeah, it's no harm to try a zero. And actually, I love zero. Most of the time, when I do my sale, I always like to add the zero for both sides because it's easier for calculation. So if I use a zero here, yeah, I, I have y equals to negative 10 multiplied zero plus 10. Then y will equals to 10. Yeah, 10 is a very nice number, which is, I believe, I can easily plot using my graph here and then I find where is my 0, 10. Let's say 10 is here, then I just plot the first coordinate, 0, 10. Because x is 0, y is 10. Alright, then, let's say I don't, I don't like about 4 here, I can try the 5 here. So I can insert the 5 into here. And then, I have negative 50 plus 10, negative 40. Yeah, I have negative 40 here. So, by the way, <laughs> I think it's some current mistake here. This one should be negative 30. It's not positive 30. And then you need to see your graph will be as big as negative 40 or not. If negative 40 is basically out of the range, then you, you shouldn't use 5. You can use any number like 3. Then if I use a 3 here, I actually use negative 30 plus 10, negative 20. Negative 20 look a lot more nicer. Okay, let's say negative 20 is here. Then, uh, and then my y x value is 3. Then maybe 3 is here. I don't know. I just pl plot it. And then I will just draw this line from here to here to find my intersection point. Yeah, definitely this is just an example because I'm not the proper skill. So I believe later when you draw that time, you will have something like this. Uh, this one explains how you actually get the two value here. You just ignore my skill. I just actually just tell you. Um, yeah, maybe you have a line like this. You will, it, you will touch these two points. Yeah, and then these two points will be at the two different x value. In this case, it's actually at 0 0.7 and 3.2 according to the calculation. So, so yeah. So in order to answer your question, so basically you can insert any number you want from for x here because what because no matter what value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you can insert any integer in your x here. Yeah, you are actually getting the same coordinate for y. That means if you insert x equals 0, you get this one. x equals to 1, you get this one. x equals to 2, you will get this one. x equals to 3, you will get this one. And so on. So you can insert even something like x equals to 3.1 to get something very close to this one. Yeah, so no matter what x value you insert, as long as you're using the same equation, you will definitely get the correct y coordinate. But sometimes I prefer to get the coordinate is like a bit far away because I just want to make sure when I draw the straight line, uh, there's less error here. Because when imagine if you have two dots like very close to each other, when you draw draw the straight line, sometimes your your ruler might be not so accurate when you draw it. But my logic is <laughs> if this two point is very far away, we connect right. Yeah, you normally you can get the line which is like best fit. Yeah, but normally if the two point is not that close, actually I think you can get a very nice straight line also. But I I prefer like one is the last point and then this one will like the minimum x value, maximum x value and x equals zero. Yeah, sometimes I can draw like this. Yeah, I don't think there's uh, there's any specific way of drawing the straight line because according to the uh, logics, if you want to draw the straight line, basically you just need two coordinates uh, on the graph and then you just draw on it. So you just make sure you, when you plot the x value, your y value is not out of range, then you are fine. Okay, so yeah, this, this kind of simple question, actually I spent too long to actually explain it. Yeah, I hope yeah, at least you can understand. I hope I can help this student to understand like why is 0, 10, and 4. Maybe 4 to 30 actually confused him. Maybe after he subbed the 4 into here, he couldn't get positive 30. But I think maybe this one is the typing error, something like that. Okay, anyways. Yeah, I guess that's all for this video. If you ha still do not understand or any other student still do not understand about this part, yeah, you can ask me again at the comment there and I think I do 
post one or two video before to to explain about this part in my youtube channel yeah you feel free to check it out yeah that's all for this video bye bye